Hi everybody, my name is Peter Kors and I am a storyteller and a musician and I am also a teaching artist with the Music Peace Center. Now what I want to do with you today is a story. I want us to be in a story together. Now, I have a question though. Why are stories so popular? What do you think? That's very, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. And it's not the only answer. There are many reasons why people love to listen to stories, why people love to tell stories. And the story that I'm going to tell you today is a story that has a lesson. That's right. Stories can tell us lessons. So when a story tells you a lesson, it's called a fable. Can you say that? Awesome. Fable. Fable. A story that teaches us a lesson. And the name of the fable today is The Lion and the Mouse. One more thing before we start. I'm also going to give you a brand new vocabulary word. So get ready for that too, okay? Here we go with The Lion and the Mouse. This story has two characters that we see. One is the lion. And to be the lion, to be actors like a lion, you have to go like this. Can you do this? Awesome. Very, look at those lions. Yeah. And the second character is a mouse. And we're going to do a mouse like this. Let me see you do that. That's good. Okay. And when the mouse runs, he runs like this. Try that. Really good, okay. The story of the lion and the mouse. Let me see you move like the lion. Looking very serious, good. Once upon a time, there was a very serious lion walking through the tall grass. And every now and again, he would stop and listen to the birds. That made him smile. Then he looked serious again and kept walking, looking serious. And he would stop and look at the clouds. And that made him smile. And then he would get serious again and keep walking. And then he would stop and smell the flowers. And that made him smile. And he would get serious again and keep walking. Now all this smiling and walking made him kind of tired, so he decided to stretch and yawn and take a little nap. <coughs> Meanwhile, there was the mouse running like this. Ready? This mouse was lost. He was so lost, ladies and gentlemen, that he ran this way. He ran that way. He ran that way. He was so lost, in fact, that he ran all over the sleeping lion's body, tickling him. Let's see that mouse running all over the lion's body, tickling him like this. <laughs> so, of course, the lion woke up and he grabbed the mouse. Can you grab the mouse like this? Let me see. Awesome. Very good. Now we come to our vocabulary word. The word is dialogue. Let me hear you say dialogue. Very good. Now dialogue, ladies and gentlemen, is when people talk to each other. One more time. Dialogue. Very good. So we're going to do the dialogue between the mouse and the lion. And the way we're going to do it is like this. I'll say it first and then you say it after me. Okay, here we go. The lion said, I'm going to eat you up. Let me hear you. Excellent. And then the mouse said, no, 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 no. Your turn. Very good. The lion said, why not? Good. And the mouse said, uh, I could help you sometime. Go ahead. I could be your friend. And the lion said, little mouse like you, 
don't make me laugh. And the mouse said, really, really, really. Ha, 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 said the lion, your turn. Really, really, really. Ha, ha, ha. And then the mouse said, think about it. And the lion thought about it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'll let you go. And the lion let the mouse go. A couple of days later, this very same lion was walking through the tall grass, enjoying the fresh air. And all of a sudden, he stopped because he thought he heard something dangerous. But he didn't hear it anymore. So he walked very slowly and very carefully. And then he stopped again because he thought he smelled something dangerous. But he didn't hear it anymore. So he walked very slowly, very carefully, and then it happened. A hunter had come along from the zoo to capture the lion, and this hunter threw a huge rope around the lion like this. Can you throw a rope around the lion like that? Yes. And the lion tried to get loose, but the hunter threw another rope around him like this. And can you throw the other rope around the lion? And the lion tried to get loose, but the rope was too strong, too strong, and he couldn't get loose, and all the struggling made him very angry, and he roared an angry roar. Rah! Let me hear you roar an angry roar. Very angry. And then he struggled some more, and he struggled some more, and then he got tired, and he roared a tired roar. Let me hear you roar a tired roar. Ready? Rah! And he roared a sad roar because he knew he wasn't going to get loose. Let's do a sad roar together. Rah. And then he fell asleep. While he was sleeping, he heard this sound. <coughs> Who was that? And what was the mouse doing? Trying to free the lion right, right, right. He was trying to free the lion by chewing the rope. So let's free the lion together by chewing the rope. Ready? But uh-oh, they heard the footsteps of the hunter coming closer. So the mouse had to chew really fast. Ready? And the footsteps kept getting closer and closer. So the mouse had to chew super fast. Ready? And one rope came loose and the mouse chewed super, 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 super fast. Ready? And the other rope came loose, and the two of them ran away together like that. And when they had run far enough, and the hunter couldn't catch them anymore, they stopped. And then the lion did this. Thank you. And they were friends forever. And that's the story of the lion and the mouse. Now remember, I said I was going to ask you what the lesson of the story was. What do you think it is? Very good, you're thinking yes, yes, yes. Now, I think the lesson of the story is this. You are never too little to help anybody who is bigger than you are. And probably you can think of a time when you helped somebody who was bigger than you are. Yeah, yeah, good. And um, that new word that uh, we learned today, new vocabulary word, dialogue. Let me ask you this. Did you have a dialogue with anybody today? Bet you did. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening. Here comes the ukulele, and here we go.